Greetings, unsettled souls. You know, before I go into this story, I want to say two things right off the bat. In case you don't know it, I'm a little chubby. Some people might even call it fat. Fortunately, I'm not obese. Guess what? I don't think that it's wrong for someone to suggest that it's a good idea that I walk a mile a day, which I do, because I'd be huge if I didn't. Uh, I Not so much in the winter, I slack off, I admit. Um, just because I don't have, like, the perfect body for a magazine does not mean that somebody shames me by being attracted to somebody who is thinner. I happen to be attracted to women that don't weigh anything. I'll walk by, like, uh, you know, a telephone pole, uh, and I'll be like, hey, you know, I like the way that's shaped. I, I like really, really tiny women. I like, you know, you have to shake the sheets to find them in the morning. Personal preference. That means he hates fat people. No. No more than people that like really thin people hate me. They probably hate me for reasons that are much more legitimate than that, and I'm, I hope so. Um, let me know in the comment lines the many reasons you hate me. I can't wait to hear it. Um, the other thing is much more serious. And I'm trying to do a, light, a bit of lighter shows today, but let me get to something serious. My dad was somebody who I saw drunk about five times from the time I was born to the time I was nearly 40 when he died. Never. Never drank. That's going to be important in a minute. He was a very, very large man. He would have been considered obese. He was a big guy. And no matter what he did, he couldn't lose weight. Which is interesting because I hover around uh, 210, 215, uh, 200 if I really, really stick to what I'm doing. I eat once a day and maybe sometimes snack at night. Sometimes not. Today I had two 99 cent cheeseburgers. And I'll probably have a regular size meal at a place down the road. Free shout out to George's in Canton when I'm off air. Um, it's odd that I would weigh as much as I do considering that's really all I eat. I, I drink his vitamin water. I tend to drink things without calories in them. I drink a lot of fruit juice. You know, on and on and on and on. There are things in our food which are causing a bunch of problems. And if we can't say that Sam is fat when he shouldn't be without thinking that Sam's going to freak out and sue somebody, then we're not going to be able to solve any of these problems. Does that make sense to anybody using the thinking part of their brain? Please use your head for something other than a hat rack. My dad had gallbladder cancer, which led to liver cancer. What? A non-drinker. Okay, did you get that? A non-drinker. How the hell does it happen? What's in the food? Here's something interesting. He became a diabetic about 10 years, 15 years or so before he died. And he stuck to that immaculately. Like when I heard he was a diabetic, I'm like, oh, that's the end of dad. No, and he, he did it. He, he stuck to it from day one. I was amazed. Um, his sugar was always where it was supposed to be. Guess what he did? Aspartame, aspartame, aspartame. Can I have some more aspartame? Maybe we should sweeten it with aspartame. Everything was aspartame. And he found ways to mask the taste so that it didn't have the aftertaste when he cooked. It took him a very, very long time to master that. No, he died by never asking what he did. Why? Because I avoid aspartame. That's what killed him. Unless the five times he got drunk in his life killed him. Okay, then we wasn't putting anything else in there. So with that in mind, let's listen to this. Because the fat shamer here was 110% correct. That's why it's called the correct views. Sweet Green CEO criticized after connecting the pandemic to unhealthy eating. Incredibly fat phobic. People <sighs> signing themselves up for their own coffin ride. Vaccines and masks won't save us. 
from the pandemic, Jonathan Neiman wrote, but the sweet green CEO has a solution. Outlaw junk food. Now, I'm not in favor of banning anything. I mean, no, don't go there. If anybody's watched the show, you know me. I'm in favor of pretty much letting people do whatever they want if they're not harming anybody else. Um, look at the bigger picture here. When it talks about banning, I'm not in favor of it. Just skip it. It's only a 10-minute video. No, I'm not in favor of banning. Pay attention to the rest of it. Neiman, whose chain of 100-plus restaurants sells salads for $10 to $15 a pop, published a LinkedIn post Tuesday suggesting that obesity is the root cause of health problems, including severe coronavirus infections. That is true! I know one man who died of it. Guess what? He was a really big guy. 78% of hospitalizations due to COVID are obese and overweight people. Is there an underlying problem that perhaps we have not given enough attention to? He correctly, I would add, wrote, appearing to cite March Centers for Disease Control and Prevention COVID-19 hospital data. How dare you read the data because somebody that looks like Sam could be offended? Or maybe they're even fatter. Oh, now, see, now I'm, like, I, I not only, like, mocked myself, but now I've fatted the people who eat more lasagna than I do. Yeah, we should all be ashamed together. And you guys should be even more ashamed than me. Listen to the hate. Oh, my God, the hate, the hate. Neiman concluded that COVID will be around for the foreseeable future. He's probably right again. And therefore, people will have to coexist with the virus. How would they ever do that? I lived through the AIDS crisis. Believe me, we did it. I don't mean I have it. Thank God I never did that. We cannot run away from it, and no vaccine nor mask will save us. In full disclosure, I am vaccinated, he wrote, and I support others getting vaccinated. The Georgetown University, you don't graduate there from nothing, friends. The Georgetown University graduate wrote, Our best bet is to learn how to best live with it and focus on overall health versus preventing infection. Yes. Health care instead of disease management is the way to go. I take a boatload of supplements every day. I'll go into it in another show. Government officials, he added, should ban our tax on healthy food. Eh, again, whatever. We clearly have no problem with government overreach on how we live our lives in the name of health, he wrote. What if we made the food that is making us sick illegal? What if we taxed processed food and refined sugar to pay for the impact of the pandemic? What if we incentivized health? Well, let's pause. I am in favor of banning aspartame. Abs absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, if nothing else, a bold, bold statement that it causes cancer. At the, at the absolute most. After his remarks were published, some commenters knocked Neiman for fat shaming, according to Business Insider. Oh, I get to say it. You had no business insider. Yikes, this is incredibly fat phobic, one person commented on his LinkedIn post. Have you considered how your health system systematically underserves people who are considered to be in these groups? Yeah, because the hospital has always told me, hey, fatty, go home. They've never said that. They didn't say it to my dad. Perfectly brain dead post. Friends, you can read the rest of the boneheaded responses on here. They want to cancel him, and I'm sure everything else, you're having drug behind a bus or something. I don't know. How dare you speak the truth in 2021? Friends, let me know what you think in the comment lines. Um, I hope you're finding me on Opera News. And if you can, uh, shoot me a text or some hate mail at the correct views at hotmail.com. Thank you, including you who are fat.